Hi students, all of you welcome. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandaro. Students, in this session, we are going to discuss the very important topic in the light that is formation of image by the spherical mirrors based on dif different positions. Okay. So all this we have already completed, all the basics I have given about the spherical mirrors. Okay, and what is the real image? What is the virtual image? Um, diminished, enlarged. I have given all these points now. So now we are going to discuss the very important topic: formation of image by. concave and convex mirrors mirrors okay for different positions for different object positions okay so that means whenever the object is placed at infinity okay at focus at center of curvature so like that Okay, then how the image is going to be formed? What is the position of the image? What is the size of the image? Okay, so before going to discuss those points, I want to give three important points. Based on these three important points, we can get the idea of formation of images. Okay, so first of all, uh, take these uh, three points. First important point, let us take the concave mirror. Let us take the concave mirror. Okay. So here the center point of the reflecting surface is nothing but pole. Okay. Pole P. So the axis which is uh, going through the center of curvature and the pole is nothing but can say principal axis. This is nothing but principal axis. We know very well about this. Okay. Here we have the center of curvature. Between C and P, we have the focus. C and P, we have the focus. So this is the concave shape. So concave type of the mirror. This is the convex type of the mirror. What is the first point? First point is nothing but if any ray. Uh, for example, if you place one object here, if any ray is parallel to the principal axis, if any ray wait, yes, if any one ray is parallel to this principal axis, this is the principal axis now, so parallel to the principal axis strikes the mirror after reflection. Whenever the light ray strikes a mirror after reflection, what will happen? It will be reflected back. So it will be reflected and go through focus. It will be reflected and go through focus. Are you getting? If any one light ray is parallel to the principal axis, parallel to the principal axis, after reflection, it will go through the focus. If you place object here and any one light ray is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection, after reflection, it will go through the focus lines. It will go through the focus lines. Okay. So that means all the reflected rays meet at one particular point. That point is called as focus. All the reflected rays meet at one particular point. That point is called as focus. And that means all the reflected rays are meeting at one particular point uh, in the sense that means those are meeting at what particular point means we can say converges. So that's why this mirror is called as converging type. Converging mirror. Converging mirror. So okay, note down the point here. Whenever any light ray parallel to principal axis, parallel to principal axis, 
after reflection after reflection reflection it go through focus or it flow through focus okay here also same if you take in case of convex if any one pair one ray is parallel to the principal axis parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will be flow in the same axis of the focus it will flow in the same axis of the focus so if you can consider one more ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will go through in the same axis of the focus that means here from this point to it is diverging okay it is dividing so diverging so that's why convex type is considered as diverging type of the mirror diverging mirror okay so here what is happening after reflection it will be diverges diverges with the axis of focus okay remaining same light ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it diverges with the axis of the focus that is the first point all of you clear any one light ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will be go through the focus okay cross like this if it is parallel after that it will be go through the focus okay now coming to the second point i think all of you got the first point second point second point is nothing but take the two mirrors we know pole here we have the center the axis flowing through the center and the pole is nothing but we can say principal axis okay and here we have the focus have the focus concave convex now the second point if any one light ray is flow through the focus if any one light ray is flow through the focus and strikes the mirror lines flow through the focus and strikes the mirror lines then after reflection what is happening same like previous after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis it will be parallel to the principal axis in the previous if one ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will go through the focus okay here if you place like this that is a uh, your ray incident ray is through the focus after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis okay parallel to the principal axis let us take one more ray in the down side okay in the downside if any one ray is a flow through the focus and strikes the mirror after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis so note on that point if light ray flow through focus and strikes the mirror after reflection after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis parallel to the principal all of you clear just opposite of the previous opposite that of the previous here also if any one light ray is uh, strikes the mirror in the axis of the focus after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis if any one light ray is uh, strikes the mirror 
in the same direction of the focus after reflection it will be parallel like this okay so it is diverges with the same with the diverges and parallel to the principal axis here same okay both are having same type of the properties but here it is converges concave converges convex and diverges okay now coming to the third point coming to the third point what is this third point third point is very very simple point okay here we have the pole here we have the center here we have the focus focus center okay so the third point is if any one light ray is flow through the center of curvature and strikes the mirror strikes the mirror after reflection after reflection it will be back with the same axis with the same axis that means with the same center of curvature only with the same center of curvature only okay all of you getting my point if any one light ray is a go through the center of curvature and strikes the mirror after reflection it will be back in the same direction here also this is with the, this is the axis of the center of curvature if any one light ray is with the same axis of the center of curvature after reflection it will be back in the same direction it will be back in the same direction okay so note down the point if light ray go through focus sorry go through center of curvature na third point go through center of curvature center of curvature c after reflection it will be back in the same direction in the same direction that means you see after reflection it will be back in the direction of center of curvature or it will be go through center of curvature only go through c only okay all of you clear go through c only these are the three important points if we know these three important points we can easily get the answer for any type of the question okay any type of the question now i want to give each and every one each and every one okay so first of all i want to give about concave type concave type okay so i am going to take the concave type of the mirror concave type of the mirror so this is our pole this is our center of curvature this is our focus okay now i am placing one object at infinity at one object at infinity position position of object at infinity position of object okay at infinity if you place any object at infinity that means at very far then if you send some light then what will happen the light may be parallel to the principal axis if you send some light from very far the light is parallel to the principal axis whenever a light ray strikes the mirror uh with the direction of parallel to the principal axis after reflection it, it will be go through the focus na it will be go through the focus like this okay if you send one more ray
parallel to the principal axis it again it will go through the focus like this okay it will go through the focus like this so that means wherever the point the reflected rays meet the point the reflected rays meet is nothing but image position image position so image position is nothing but meeting point of meeting point of reflected rays okay so if you send the light in the direction of parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will go through the focus means so two reflected rays meeting at focus so meeting point or image position is at focus image position is at focus okay and those are uh, coming to the size coming to the size and uh, uh, coming to the size so what is the size how to get the size size is nothing but if it is the principal axis okay so here if you have this much of size a b is the object here you will get image is at one particular point that point is also on the principal axis correct so size of the image is generally size is from principal axis to axis to meeting point of reflected rays meeting point of reflected rays okay so here from this principal axis the meeting point is on the principal axis only so on the principal axis means it is just like a point size so you will get point size image point size image point size image okay so here a b is this much of uh, object we have but whenever coming to image just a point size so from high to low what is happening a bigger size to lower size diminished so the shape is the shape is diminished size reduced size diminished size of the image okay diminished size of the image don't worry if you are not getting just listen okay uh, two uh, two or three then you will get understand okay now coming to the second one now i am moving my object from infinity to infinity to between infinity and the center okay now i am moving my object at infinity to, to between infinity and c okay between infinity and c here i have my principal axis pole center of curvature focus this is infinity now i am moving here from this place to this place i am moving okay at this if i move from infinity to center of curvature here also there is a chance of one ray is a parallel to the principal axis okay and it may be after reflection it will go through the focus like this okay and the second one second ray we can send through the focus now we can send through the focus whenever any one light ray is flow through the focus after reflection it will be back in the uh, parallel to the principal axis correct parallel to the principal axis so what is the meeting point of reflected rays this is the meeting point of reflected rays correct that is the 
meeting point of reflected rays. Once again, guys. Once again. Okay. First case at infinity. Now my uh, now I am moving from infinity to uh, between infinity and C uh, and C. If any one light ray is parallel to the principal axis. After reflection, it will flow or it will go through the focus like this. The second case we have from object to do in the direction of the focus. Okay, after reflection, it will be parallel to the principal axis, correct? It will be parallel to the principal axis. So, what is the meeting point? This is the meeting point. Okay. So, image position, image position, it is between C and F now. Between C and F. Okay. And what is the size? Size is nothing but the distance between principal axis to meeting point. So, now this is the image. This is our image. Okay. So, image is somewhat of reduced. Here very somewhat of high in the size. Here less in the size. So, image is somewhat of reduced size. Reduced size. Here take a dim, instead of diminished, highly diminished. Or extremely diminished. Okay. Point size now. So, extremely diminished so for this one reduced size or you can say diminished size diminished size okay diminished size and the third point third point now i am moving my object somewhat of near to the previous here I have the pole, center of curvature, focus. So, in the previous we have between infinity and C now. Now exactly at C. Exactly at C. Now I am placing my object exactly at C. Now if any one ray is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection it will go through the focus line. And the second one, if any one light ray is go through the focus and strikes the mirror after reflection, it will be parallel to the principal axis. Parallel to the principal axis. This is the our meeting point. This is our meeting point. So that means this is our image position image position. So, image position is same at exact C only. At exact C only. And what about the size? Size is also almost same. Okay. Same size. Same size. Okay. Now, the question is, sometimes we are getting the question, uh, properties of the images, that is real or virtual. Okay. Real or virtual. Erect or uh, inverted. Okay. So here you are placing your object is in x axis and image also formed in the x axis. Okay. So object placed in the x axis, image also placed in the same x axis. That means you can say that is the real type of the image. So point size image and this is real. And I said in the previous, all real will be inverted. Inverted. Okay, here you are placing your object in the minus x axis and image also formed on the same minus x axis. So that means it is also real. All real will be inverted. So your image will be reversed like uh, here you have the head, here you have the legs, like the type of image you form. Here you are placing object is at a minus x axis image also formed on the same negative x axis so real 
so it is also real all real will be inverted image all of you clear all the three points okay now coming to the fourth one fourth one students it is looks like a, a lot of time consuming but once you get the idea then it is very very simple okay try to watch uh, till end at the end i will give a very important trick from that trick no need to draw all these diagrams you can directly give the answer whenever you see the question within seconds within 10 seconds you can give the answer okay not only the theory type of the questions for uh numericals also you can give the answer within 20 seconds okay so try to watch till the end don't miss guys here pole center focus okay so already you have placed uh, at the center of curvature now beyond the center of curvature that means between c and f your position of object is between c and f okay here you have placed now any one light ray is parallel to the principal axis it will be reflected back through the focus okay reflected back to the focus and the next one the next one if you send uh, uh, another light ray through the focus like this another focus uh, like this okay after reflection it will be go through like this okay so this is the meeting point if you can consider it is the infinity so what is the meeting point now between infinity and c so image position between infinity and c. between infinity and c or you can say beyond c form beyond c okay and what about the size what about the size you got previously we have this much of size now the size is increased correct from principal axis to meeting point size is increased so enlarged enlarged size or you can say magnified magnified size okay magnified size beyond c enlarged or magnified and here also you are placing your object is in the negative x axis and your image form also in the negative x axis you can say real all real will be inverted all real will be inverted what is the fifth chance we have moving from c between c and f to f or to focus are to focus pole focus center of curvature now i am placing my object are to focus there is a chance any one light ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will go through the focus and the second chance okay your object is placed at focus and you cannot send the light through the focus now there is no chance okay so there is another chance you can send the light ray in the axis of the center of curvature correct in the axis of the center of curvature with the same axis of the center of curvature if you send like that after reflection it will be back in the same direction now it will be back in the same direction yeah if you send like that it will be back in the same direction so like this that means these two reflected rays are parallel rays parallel rays the parallel rays meet at infinity only 
so parallel rays are meet at a infinity only okay so image position will be at infinity reverse reverse correct if you place infinity your image position is at focus if you place at focus your image position will be infinity okay and what about the size this much of size that means extremely magnified size extremely magnified or highly enlarged highly enlarged okay and if these two are not meet in the real axis but they can meet in the not meet in the uh, real axis okay uh, and if you are uh, that is meeting point is infinity na uh, infinity in the sense if you place object in the real axis that is minus x axis and image forms also at infinity that is real axis so you can say uh, real all real will be inverted okay so both are at real axis so you can say real and inverted and the next point sixth point it's the point if you move your object from f2 between f and pole between f and pole that is the last chance you can move pole here center here focus between f and p if you place your object here and here also any one light ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will be go through the focus like this okay go through the focus like this okay and the second one if any one light ray is in the axis of uh, center of curvature after reflection it will be back in the same direction correct that means there is a gap is increasing between these two that means there is no chance of meeting point in the real axis no chance of meeting point in the real axis correct once again i want to give in detail Yes. The principal axis. Okay. If this is your object, if any one light ray is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection, it will be go through the focus. Like this. Okay. And the second one, if you place uh, that is if you send one light ray in the axis of the center of curvature in the axis of the center of curvature like this okay then it will be reflected back in the same direction that means gap is increasing that means there is no chance of meeting in the real axis if we extend this in the virtual axis that is behind there is a chance of meeting at this point so this is your image so that means uh, behind the mirror so you will get behind mirror okay and what about the uh, properties if you are placing your object is in the negative x axis image found will be positive x axis so you can say it is the not real it is the virtual i said all virtual will be erect all virtual will be erect okay so behind mirror virtual and direct and what about the size 
here this much of size here size is somewhat of increasing so magnified size magnified size okay magnified size so from all these if you summarize this you will get a very good trick very good trick okay so try to understand the trick this is the hole here if you have the center if you have the focus okay so first of all if you have your object at infinity this is your object let us take object as o okay object one is at infinity what is the image form image formed at focus na focus so this is your image one this is your image one so let us uh, take another color this is your image one and whenever you move your object from infinity to between center and infinity like this that is this is your object to position to then where is the image form image form is between c and f correct between c and f so this is your image to and again you are moving your object at center of curvature then you are getting your image is at the same place of center of curvature correct image 3 and if you move again your object between between c and f that is at this point okay so this is object 3 object 4 and where you are getting the your image your image is here you got the image is here beyond c correct beyond c beyond c image 4 and if you move your object at focus you will get your image is at this point that is at a infinity at a infinity okay so that means if you move your object near to the mirror if you move your object near to mirror what is happening image is going to far image is going to far correct so note down that point if we move object object near to the mirror near to the mirror image formed will be Farer from mirror. Farer from mirror. Okay. This is same like uh, object is like a villain. Okay. Object is like a villain. Image is like a heroine. So just imagine like this. If the villain coming near to the mirror, heroine is going far. Correct. Villain is coming near to the heroine, heroine going to far. Okay, so if the if we move object near to the mirror, image is formed will be far from the mirror. So for example, if the object is at infinity, image is at focus, very near to the mirror. If the object is at a, between uh, infinity and C, between infinity and C, it is moving from 
बिटवीन सी एंड एफ सी एंड एफ इफ यू प्लेस ऑब्जेक्ट इज एक्सैक्टली एट सी एंड इमेज आल्सो एक्सैक्टली एट सी इफ यू प्लेस ऑब्जेक्ट बिटवीन सी एंड एफ बिटवीन सी एंड एफ देन यू विल गेट इमेज फाउंड विल बी इनफिनिटी एंड सी आर बियॉन्ड सी Beyond C, if you place uh, at focus, object is at focus. Here I am writing object is at focus. Then image will be at infinity. Image will be at infinity. Correct. So whenever the object uh, moving near to the mirror, image found will be far from the mirror. And what about the sizes? What about the size? If the image coming near to the uh, image is very long, very far, okay, you will get ah uh, sorry, object is very far. Image is at point size, from point to somewhat of increases, and here exact size, here magnified size, here extremely magnified. So that means object is coming near to the mirror. Object is. moving towards to mirror image size increases increases okay so if the object is at infinity what is the image size we have point size if it is between C and infinity, C and infinity object to two image to is somewhat of reduced size, so that is diminished. Here find and at a exactly C it is same size. Okay, so this is a key point, guys. If you place object at exactly C, you will get image also formed at the same point and size also same. Size also same. Here now between C and F, then you will get magnified size, enlarged. Okay, if you place at focus, you will get extremely enlarged. Okay, so if the object moving towards the mirror, image size is going to be increases. these are the two important points if you know these two then you can give the answer for any type of the questions okay at exactly c same size same image okay and in all this okay in all this up to focus up to focus you will get uh, object to one place second place third place fourth place fifth place in all this uh, All the characteristics are real. All real will be inverted only. In the last case, if you move object, if you move your object between object six, in this case there is no chance of meeting at infinity. So the meeting will be at virtual axis. So image will be. image 6 image will be virtual axis so here virtual means we may get correct same size and magnification magnified size okay all of you getting and if in the if you can consider same points in the convex type in case of convex type so now i am going to give convex here only two points we have why because we have only two possibilities center focus pole so where we can place we can place at infinity at infinity point okay we can place the object at infinity point any light ray is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will be go through the in the axis of the focus okay if you take one more light ray 
to the focus and it will be also in the same axis of the focus. So you are placing your object in the negative x axis, but in the negative image may not be formed in the negative x axis. Why? Because these two rays may not meet. But if you extend these two, if you extend these two in the virtual axis, those may be meeting at a focus. So this is the image place. Okay, so image formed. Image formed at focus. At focus and size point size. And the axis virtual axis. Correct. Object you are placing in the negative x axis. Image formed will be in the positive x axis. So it is a virtual opposite axis. So virtual. All the virtual will be erect. Okay. That is the first point in the concave. And coming to the second point in the concave. Center of curvature, focus, pole, infinity. So the second point we make chance between infinity and a pole. Okay, so you can place here. Okay, then there is a chance of parallel to the principal axis. Then it may be diverges. In the axis of the focus, in the axis of the focus. The second one, we can send through the, it is in the direction of center of curvature. If you send in the direction of center of curvature, it will be back in the same direction. It will be back in the same direction. Okay. It will be back in the same direction. Okay. So these two rays may not meet in the real axis, but if you extend those, those are meeting in the virtual axis. So this is the image position. So image position BTV F and P. And what about the size? Here this much of size we have. Here size is reduced. So size is reduced size. Uh, diminished size. So point size in the sense. Point size in the sense. Extremely diminished. Here just diminish. Here also, uh, there are, uh, you are placing object in, in the real axis, that is negative x axis. Image formed will be in the positive x axis. So you can say virtual. All virtual will be erect. Okay. So these are the points we have. So now I want to summarize all these. In case of concave, in case of convex. Okay, so if you understand each and every one, here image may be point size that is extremely diminished. Second case, reduced size. Third case, same size. And fourth case, uh, here enlarged size. Fifth case, extremely enlarged. So that means if you can consider image sizes, image sizes may be enlarged size. So you will get magnified or enlarged and also same size and also diminished. All are possible. Okay. Image size is let's take V. So that means magnified means V greater than U. U is the object. Here V is equal to U. Here V less than U. All are possible. So we know very well linear magnification. M is equal to V by U naught. So here magnifying case 
V greater than U means M greater than 1 is possible. Here M is equal to 1 possible. Here M less than 1 possible. Okay. So, enlarged size or magnified size is possible by concave mirror only. If you can consider in the convex type, uh, what are the two possibilities we have? Extremely diminished and diminished. Only diminished possible. Only diminished. In the sense, image is always less than object. Image size always less than object. Only reduced images possible. Only reduced images. Diminished images. Small images possible. So, linear magnification less than 1 only. Less than 1 only. But concave all possible. Okay. So, that is here the main application of this concave wherever there is a magnification. So, wherever we require magnified images, magnified images, that is bigger images, bigger images. We go with the concave type mirror. So, the main applications. Wherever we require uh, magnified images or bigger images, you can go with the concave or powerful beam. Whenever we require powerful beam of light. Of light. Example, torch light. Torch light. Torch light, we require powerful beam. Headlight of vehicle. Headlights of vehicle. Okay. Search lights. Search lights. And the light used by dentist. Dentist light. So, wherever uh, we want to focus on a particular point. We want to focus on a particular point because it's a converging nature converging so we can focus here diverging magnified images and focusing images powerful beam or dentist require focusing images wherever we require focusing okay so such lights torch lights headlights dentist the images used by dentist in all those cases, we can go with the concave type of the mirror. Okay. And convex type, where we require reduced images. Wherever we require reduced images. Comma, only virtual and erect required. Okay, if we require only virtual and erect, in that cases also we go with the convex type. So, uh, where we require reduced images, backlight, that is uh, backside, uh, sorry, rear view mirrors. In case of rear view mirrors, security mirrors, security mirrors. In those cases only we go with the convex okay and one more this concave here what are the possibilities in the first two five cases we have all the images are real all real will be inverted and we have the second possibility last case virtual and erect so all are possible correct all possible but in case of convex, only we have virtual and erect. Erect means see the guys I have given in detail in the previous session. Okay, try to watch that one also. Okay, so in the convex, we have virtual and erect. So wherever we require virtual and erect, we require in the rear view mirrors. Okay, that is the another reason we are using this convex in the rear view type of the mirrors. Okay. All of you clear the applications. 
ओके डोंट वरी वी विल आल्सो प्रैक्टिस द एमसीक्यूज फ्रॉम द एमसीक्यूज यू कैन गेट द कांसेप्ट इन डिटेल ओके एंड यू कैन क्लियर योर लाइट टॉपिक डोंट वरी सो इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग दिस कांसेप्ट नो नीड ऑफ वरी ट्राई टू वॉच दिस वन अगेन व्हेनेवर यू हैव फ्री माइंड ओके व्हेनेवर योर माइंड इज रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट एनीथिंग देन ट्राई टू वॉच इन दैट टाइम once you understand then it is very very easy guys very easy okay so try to understand this trick whenever object is moving near to the mirror that is villain is near to the heroine heroine is going to be back it is going to be back in this direction if the object is moving in this direction your image will be in this direction okay if you know this one we can give an answer for any one any type of okay okay students in the next session we will discuss about the plane type of mirrors after that we will go with the lenses after lenses we have a small uh, small small topics are there those are nothing but total internal reflection okay and also a scattering effect uh, and also Mm, we have some more rainbow concept okay dispersion huh? uh, and uh, diffraction so those topics we have and we will uh, complete all this okay students uh, but don't miss the mcq session also i will upload the mcq session also soon so try to watch that one also okay and if you like my effort don't forget to click on like option okay just i am asking uh, like from you okay and also try to share uh, your comments your feedback in the comments okay okay students thank you so much for watching take care bye guys